Okay, this is the Indo gun, uh, which is uh, a rounded pintail with a con V in it. That, that means it has a concave to the centre and, and a, v, uh, a longer V at the tail, not a short V. Uh, helps control the board at high speed to V. The concave is still there, but not all the way to the tail to make it lift too much. The V lets it sit down a bit more. Obviously, it's a tapered tail, a pintail. This again is something that's come out of uh, the experience uh, up in Indonesia and Hawaii and uh, a lot of other places in the Pacific. Um, it, it too is a 4x4x4 uh, a four by four by four diagonal and double diagonal in the longer lengths. It has a four ply strength to it. Uh, again, I haven't bothered with the carbon around the tail simply because uh, these boards don't get thumped around the tail as much as short boards do. But uh, I've, so I've put a bit more graphic on the, on the uh, just a little bit of fancy graphic work on the, on the, on the rail um, and uh, like a tapered pin line just to make it look a bit different. I'm happy with the way this board looks. Uh, some people say this is an old style spray, but to me, uh, these sort of boards are perennial. They're, they're something that you don't need to change every season of fashion because in juice, the same things work over and over. There's been little tweaks, yes, but you don't need to go crazy for trying to bring out something different for these conditions every year. So this is the Indo gun. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you.